data breaches are a serious threat. As a system administrator, your ability to detect and respond to file server activity is critical for securing sensitive data and ensuring compliance. In this video, we'll count down the top 10 file server auditing reports every sysadmin should be using. Let's dive in. Kicking off our list at number 10, stale data. Stale files may seem harmless, but they pose real security and compliance risks. These are files that haven't been accessed or modified in months, maybe even years. Lapide's stale data report helps you identify and clean up outdated information, reduce storage bloat, and ensure you're not holding onto sensitive data longer than necessary. At number nine, permissions by object and by user. Understanding who has access to what is fundamental to good security. These reports give you a clear view of permissions, both by specific file or folder and by user. It's essential for validating access rights, supporting audits, and helping you manage permissions more effectively without having to rely on complex PowerShell scripts. Coming in at number eight, open shares. Open shares can be a ticking time bomb. If folders are accessible to everyone or authenticated users, that can easily lead to data exposure. Lapide's Open Shares report helps you identify and close these open doors fast before they can be exploited by malicious insiders or external threats. Number seven is all about permission changes. While number nine gives you a snapshot of current access levels, this report focuses on the changes to those permissions. The Permission Changes report shows you every modification to file and folder permissions over time, giving you the visibility to detect suspicious privilege escalations and quickly revert unauthorized changes. It's the dynamic complement to the static view in the permissions by object and user report. At number six, file and folder modifications. Knowing what's been changed and by whom is critical for data integrity. Whether it's accidental overwriting, malicious edits, or version sprawl, Lapide tracks every modification with precision. This report helps with compliance, troubleshooting, and detecting tampering in real time. Number five on our list, file and folder access attempts. Access logs are your first line of defense. Lapide's Failed Reads Report provides detailed insight into who tried to access what and whether they succeeded or failed. This is vital for catching unauthorized access attempts early, especially in regulated environments. Coming in at number four, deleted files and folders. Unauthorized file deletion can be just as dangerous as a breach. Lapide tracks deletion events and tells you exactly who deleted what and when. Say goodbye to forensic guesswork and hello to instant alerts and clean, accessible reports. At number three, file copy events. File copying isn't inherently bad, but mass copying might be. Our Files Copied report helps you detect potentially suspicious copying behavior, such as large transfers of sensitive files, which could signal data exfiltration attempts. And number two, excessive permissions. Overprivileged users are a major risk. Lapide identifies users with access beyond what they need, helping you enforce the principle of least privilege. It's one of the fastest ways to reduce your attack surface and avoid privilege abuse. And finally, number one, sensitive files by name. This report is your data security MVP. Lapide's classification engine automatically detects and labels files containing sensitive data, like financial records, health information, or customer IDs based on built-in or custom patterns. It's an essential tool for meeting data protection laws like GDPR, HIPAA, and more. Native Windows auditing is limited, noisy, and time-consuming. Lapide provides a cleaner, more powerful way to audit your file servers. With predefined reports, real-time alerts, and intuitive dashboards, it's the smarter way to ensure security and stay compliant. Want to see it in action? Visit lapide.com to schedule a demo or start your free trial today.